This video will cover the topic, graphing a logarithmic function, basic. In this video, we will learn how to plot points on, draw asymptotes on, and draw a graph of a given logarithmic function. Suppose we are given the function g of x equals 3 log base 2 of x. To graph this function, we want to plot a few points, probably about 5. Draw all asymptotes, and then draw the graph by connecting the dots. Or in Alex, we would click the graph icon, and it would draw it for us. Let's begin by finding some points. I would say to pick some smart values of x that will help us to plot our points. When I say smart values of x, what do you think that means? Does that mean that I should pick values of x that will solve the equation more simply? Yes, it does. When we have log base 2 of something, it means 2 to the which power equals that number inside the logarithm. For example, if we exclude the 3 here and we just had log base 2 of x, and we plugged in 2 here for x, then we'd have log base 2 of 2. So to solve a log, we have 2 to the what power equals 2. That's 1. 2 to the first power equals 2. So log base 2 of 2 equals 1. So we can say that 2 is a smart value for x, because when we put 3 back in there, log base 2 of 2 is 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. And that's a simple number, easy to calculate and graph. Now if we put 3 in for x here, that is not a smart value, because we would need a calculator to figure out log base 2 of 3. For example, 2 to the what equals 3. Well, we don't exactly know that. We need a calculator for it. Here we will make a table of five smart values of x that will give us five good points to plot in our graph. Note that we cannot take a log of 0 or a negative number because there is no number raised to a power that equals 0. And there are no negative bases in a logarithm. So a logarithm cannot equal a negative number unless the entire logarithm is negative. However, because this particular log is only positive, the entire function is mapped out only to the right of the y-axis. So here's our table of values and our coordinate plane. The five smart values we've chosen here are x equals 1 fourth, 1 half, 1, 2, and 4. So we will plug each of these into our equation. So with our first one, we have 3 log base 2 of 1 fourth. Well, as we said for solving logarithms, we have, when we have base 2, it's 2 to the what equals 1 fourth. Here we can see that's negative 2. 2 to the negative 2 equals 1 fourth. Negative 2 times 3 equals negative 6. And that's our first value of y. With our second, value of x, 1 half, we'll plug that in, 3 log base 2 of 1 half. So 2 to the what equals 1 half. That's negative 1, because 2 to the negative 1 power is 1 half. And so we have negative 1, all that multiplied by 3 equals negative 3. When we plug in 1, 3 log base 2 of 1. What does this equal? Well, 2 to the what power equals 1. Anything to the 0 power equals 1. So this means that log base 2 of 1 equals 0. Multiplied by 3 equals 0. 3 log base 2 of 2. As we said earlier, log base 2 of 2 equals 1. Multiplied by 3 equals 3. And our last value of x is 4. 3 log base 2 of 4. 2 to the what power equals 4? 2. So 2 times 3 equals 6. We can now plot these points on our graph. As we can see here, I have 1 fourth common negative 6, plot right here. 1 half common negative 3, right here. 1 comma 0, right here. 2 comma 3, right here. And 4 comma 6. You also said that we need to draw the asymptote, or asymptotes. How do we do that? Good memory. I was just about to get to that. Remember what I said earlier about a positive logarithmic function has no values of x less than or equal to 0. Because there is no number raised to a power that equals 0. And because logarithms only have positive bases, they will never raise to a power that equals a negative number. So there are no negative x values. This all means that there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, 
And in fact, for any logarithmic, logarithmic function of the form y equals log base a of x, where a is not equal to 1, there will be a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And we can also see here, with our plotted points, as x goes towards 0 from the right side, y is going to negative infinity. It's getting closer, closer and closer to the y-axis, but the way it looks, it will actually not cross it, which implies a vertical asymptote. Now that we have the vertical asymptote and the points plotted, is there anything else we have to add before drawing the graph? No, there isn't. Everything is good. You can now connect your points and draw the graph. If this was being graphed on Alex, we would click on the graph button and our graph would be drawn for us. All right, now I'd like to briefly review. To graph a basic logarithmic function, I start by plotting several points. To do so, I take smart values of x that result in easily plottable y values. I also need to draw the vertical asymptote. For any basic positive logarithmic function in the form y equals log base a of x, the vertical asymptote is x equals 0, the y-axis. After getting all of this, I can draw my graph. Excellent explanation.